Hi, Selin. What are you working on? Oh, hi, Peter. I'm trying to finish my presentation for tomorrow's meeting. I'm way behind. I worked late yesterday finishing mine. Is there anything I can do to help you? Thanks, but not right now. I'll let you know if I need anything later. Hello, Krusty Catering. How may I help you today? Yes, I'm with the Colbert Corporation. We're having a company party next Friday, and I need to arrange for all the food and drinks. Okay, how many people do you expect to entertain? And will it be an indoor or outdoor affair? About 100 employees will be there, and we'll hold it indoors in one of our large conference rooms. Hey, Cindy. How are you doing with your new business? Hey, Greg. It's going well. I signed up two new clients last week, and now I have five total. Wow, five already. That's great. How do you like being self-employed? Oh, it's wonderful. I can work from home and even from the coffee shop, and I can set my own hours. I did a conference call last week while I was wearing my nightgown and bathrobe. Julie, would you please push back my one o'clock appointment this afternoon? I have an emergency meeting with the president. Of course, Mr. Lorry. When would you like to reschedule? Well, the president informed me that some clients will be arriving at two, so let's say four o'clock. I should be back in my office by then. Great. I'll see if he can be here at four. Hello, XYZ Accounting. Could I speak to Craig Robinson, please? Mr. Robinson's in a meeting right now. Can I put you through to his voicemail? No, thanks. I'll try back later. I just have a couple of quick questions about deductions for my tax return. Oh, maybe another accountant could help you. I think Gina Bowers could answer your questions. Yes, she's in. Hold on a second, I'll transfer you. Excuse me, I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. I'm looking for the library. The library? Let's see. The best way to get there is to go back to this street in front of the store and turn left. Go two intersections, then take a right onto 72nd Street. A right at 72nd. Yes, the next stoplight will be Williams Street. Turn left and you'll see the library a half block down on the left-hand side. Yes, I need a round-trip first-class ticket to Seoul, leaving on the 13th and returning on the 20th. Yes, sir. Let's see. We have two flights on the 13th. The first is non-stop and leaves at 7 a.m. The second leaves at 11 a.m. with a two-hour layover in Tokyo. And for the return flight on the 20th, the non-stop leaves at 8 a.m. and the layover flight leaves at noon. I'd prefer the non-stop if it's not much more expensive. The non-stop is $500 and the flight with the Tokyo layover is $475. I'm here with a delivery, some office supplies, a filing cabinet, and a bookshelf, I believe. I'm going to have to get someone to sign for them. Is there a manager available? She's out of the office this afternoon. I'm her assistant. I can sign for them. Thank you, that's great. Where should I leave the supplies? 
The filing cabinet can go, and the bookshelf and boxes of supplies can be left right here. So the twentieth won't work for you. How about something the following week? That would be the week of the twenty-third. Let's see. I have time on Monday afternoon and Wednesday morning. Does either of those work for you? Monday doesn't. I'll be out of town. Wednesday later in the morning would say eleven thirty. Okay, eleven thirty Wednesday. Where? Well, Miss Gans, your resume is certainly impressive, and I see you have a lot of experience in the electronics field. Now, I'd like to ask you a few questions. First, why do you want to join our firm? Eldridge Electronics is one of the most well-respected companies in the industry, not only for the quality of your products, but for the way employees are treated. Eldridge offers an opportunity to challenge myself. And to be fairly rewarded for doing so. I see. And does your current employer know that you are in the market for a new position? Not explicitly, but my manager understands that I've been there six years now, and I've basically reached the top of the ladder in terms of what I can do with them. In fact, he recently joked that he'd better find a way to keep me busy, or else he'd lose me. Pardon me, sir. I need to plug in my laptop computer. Would you mind if I use the outlet by your chair? Not at all. But I'm afraid it doesn't work. I tried it earlier. Oh, that's a problem. I guess we can't always count on the outlets. After all, this is a coffee shop, not an office. But it seems all the other outlets are being used. Why don't you ask at the counter? Maybe they have an extension cord, so you could plug into an outlet down the hall near the restrooms. Hello, Sheila Sarkeesian. This is Mark Fredericks with Watson and Williams. You interviewed with us last week. Oh yes, Mr. Fredericks. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm phoning to tell you that you're a finalist for the position, and we'd like you to come in for a second interview on Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday works great. What time should I be there? Hello, Howard. How's your new building coming along? Pretty well. I'm waiting for the painters to finish so I can install carpets. They still have three more apartments to paint. I'm hoping they'll finish soon because I have the units rented, but I can't let tenants move in until the carpets are down. Have you rented all eight of the apartments? No, not yet. I have six of them rented, and I'm advertising for the last two in the Post News. Yes. Is this Phyllis Wheatley? This is Simon from Dr. Morgan's office. I'm calling to remind you that you have an appointment for a physical exam on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Oh, thank you for calling. I completely forgot, and now I can't make it. Sorry. Can I reschedule? Sure. We have openings at eight Wednesday morning or four Wednesday afternoon. Then on Thursday at 11 a.m. and Friday in the afternoon, either one or three. Let's see. I'll be out of town Tuesday and Wednesday. Then I have meetings all day Thursday. Okay, so put me down for Friday at three. I promise I won't forget. Sorry again. Paul, do you have a minute? I'm trying to book a venue for our annual conference, and I need your input. Sure, Tanya. What are the choices? Well, 
We could use the convention center, which is very nice, but also quite expensive. The exhibition hall has a lower price, and it's more convenient, but its facilities are not as nice. Hmm. Why don't you call the convention center and see if they'll come down? If they do, go with them. And if they don't, go with the exhibition hall. That's a good idea. Thank you, Paul. Well, I'd better get right on it. I have to decide by Friday. What do you think you need to do to be a good language learner? Well, you need to be able to put down your textbooks from time to time and forget about accuracy. That's the only way to become more fluent in a language. You also need to speak to native speakers of the language as much as you can. What do you think makes a good language teacher? I think the best language teachers are those who can speak another language themselves. Teachers also need to be able to explain things clearly and in a way that is easy to follow. What problems do people experience when learning your language? My first language is very difficult to learn because of the pronunciation. The individual sounds are very strange to other nationalities and often difficult for them to pronounce. What would you like to do with your hair today? Would you like some highlights or something dramatic done to it? I'd like something simple, like the receptionist style. Can you add some highlights to make my hair look similar to hers? Of course. I actually just completed a What's Hot seminar last week in New York, and that style was one that we focused on. To make me feel more comfortable and excited about the changes to my hair. Hi, Thomas. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Debbie. Yes, it has been a long time. How's Gabe doing? I heard he got a promotion at the Business News. Yes, he's going to be the Special Sections Editor. It's a great opportunity for him, and we can really use the extra money. Tell him congratulations for me. We should get together for dinner sometime soon and catch up. Good morning. Welcome to Boston. Are you here for the management convention? Yes, I am. Where do I go to check in? The registration tables are on the left side of the room. After you register, go to the tables on the right for a schedule of seminars and more information about convention activities. There's free coffee and donuts in the foyer. Thank you. Before I start, I need to use the restroom. Where are you going? London, how about you? New York first, then Atlanta and Chicago. I've got meetings in each city the next three days. Wow, that's a tight schedule. I'm going to hook up with friends and relax for a couple of weeks. I don't want to even think about work for a while. Excuse me, please. Do you have these Brooksbury trousers in size 38? I'm sorry, but we're out of size 38 in Brooksbury. We do have 38s in Foster trousers. They're 100% cotton, very comfortable, and stylish. Would you like to try on a pair of those? Hmm. All right. How about these Brooksbury shirts? Do you have any larges in blue? I'm afraid not. We have foster larges in blue. Why don't you try one of those to match your pants? Hey, Ellie, we're going to Lucky Dragon for lunch. Want to come? I can't. I'm covering the phones for Scott. He had an 1130 dental appointment. Oh, that's too bad. Want us to bring you something back? 
Yes, thank you. I'll have the Kung Pao chicken with chow mein. Could you hand me my purse, please? Hello? I'm calling about the two-bedroom rental you have advertised on the home base website. Is that still available? Yes, it is. If you'd like to see it, we can make an appointment for this afternoon. Okay, but before I see it, I'd like a little more information. The ad said it was $1,500 a month, plus the first and last month rent in advance, plus a cleaning deposit. How much is the cleaning deposit? Also, how many bathrooms does it have? It has two bathrooms, and the cleaning deposit is $500, half of which is non-refundable. Excuse me, do you know if I can catch the 325 Express at this stop? No, only the regular 325. You can catch the Express on 5th Street. Go up to the intersection, turn right, then take the first left onto 5th. The stop will be on your right. Thank you. Would you happen to know how often the 325 Express runs? Every 20 minutes, I believe. It's 310 now, so if you hustle, you can catch the next one. Morning, Melissa. Where are you off to so early on a Saturday? There's a huge sale today at Costless. Most items are at least 50% off. The store doesn't open until 9, but I need to get in line. Well, You'd better bring a book or a laptop with you. It's going to be a long wait. Those costless sales are always crazy. Good luck fighting the mob. Oh, I don't mind. I have some knitting to keep me busy, and it's worth it to get half off a new TV. Have a good day. I'll take two. Here you are. Do you have any smaller bills? I'm afraid I don't have change for a hundred. I'm sorry I don't, and I don't have my checkbook with me either. Do you accept credit cards? No, only cash and check. There's an ATM machine in the bank across the street. Okay, Charlotte. I'll introduce you to everyone in a few minutes, but first I need to find out how many of the people here you already know. Well, I know Mr. Markham, the managing director. He's the man in the brown suit with the gray hair and mustache. That's him, but he prefers to be called Charles. Charles Markham, okay. And um, Cindy Carlyle is the tall woman with the green jacket and long black hair. Yes, she's the personnel manager. What about the person behind her? You mean the woman with short blonde hair? Her name is, um, Elaine Nolan. She's the accountant. Good. Is there anyone you don't know? Hmm, let's see. I don't think I know the young guy over there. Who? The one with short brown hair wearing the blue shirt? No, no, I know him. That's Tony Tan, right? Oh, I know who you mean. The guy standing next to him in the yellow shirt. That's Alan Watts, the PR guy. And who's that? Oh, sorry. It looks like they're ready for our presentation. Just follow along and you can pick up the rest as we go. You know who I ran into yesterday? Lenny Ramos. Lenny, our former programmer? What's he doing these days? He was out of work for three months after he got laid off here, but now he has a new job with Banana Computers. He loves it, and he's making more money. Good for him. He's such a hard worker, I knew he'd land on his feet.
I just feel exhausted lately, like I can't get enough sleep, and I seem to have a constant headache. How about you? I fell and hurt my wrist a couple of days ago. I thought it was just a sprain, but it still throbs, and it hurts when I use the keyboard, so I thought I'd better get it checked out. That's a good idea. You can't be too careful when it comes to your health. Ms. Wasserman. Oh, that's me. Nice talking with you. Good luck. Hello, Ellison residents. Linda speaking. Linda, this is Paul McCarthy from Technocratic. We've reviewed your resume and decided we'd like you to join our team. Congratulations. Could you start next week at 8 a.m. Monday? Thank you. That's great. Yes, Monday at 8 would be fine. Okay, super. Before you begin, we need you to fill out some additional paperwork. Is there a day this week that you could come in for an hour or two? Hello, Mary. This is Ted. My flight just landed. I thought you had arranged for someone to meet me here and take me to the hotel. I did. Wasn't there someone there holding a sign with your name on it? No, there wasn't. I've claimed my luggage, and now I'm not sure what to do. Okay, hold tight, and I'll get somebody there as soon as possible. Sorry for the inconvenience. Great sales conference. Yeah, and Chicago's a good place for it, isn't it? Uh-huh. By the way, Dave, I've been meaning to ask you something. Go ahead. Well, I don't know if you've heard, but I'm being transferred to Asia from the New York office. Right, and they're letting you choose which city, aren't they? Yeah. The only problem is that I don't know much about Asia. You've worked in all our offices in Asia. Could you give me some advice? Sure, no problem. Well, I think I told you I started out in Bangkok. What was that like? Really interesting. I was studying Buddhism at the time, so it was great. There are some amazing temples in Bangkok. It's not very expensive to live there, either. Have you ever lived in Tokyo? Oh, sure. I loved it there. It's a really exciting place to live and very modern. You've got to see the Ginza in downtown Tokyo. What about Seoul? You work there, too, right? Uh-huh. Seoul's a really big city, but I always felt safe there, even late at night. I sometimes went to this all-night market called Namdaemun. And Singapore? Well, Singapore isn't very big, but it's very convenient to get around. I've heard it's also very clean. Yeah, it's very clean, and the restaurants are great. Hmm, it's not going to be easy to decide. They all sound great. I don't know. I think I like the Jay-Z computer better. What do you think? Well, the Jay-Z does have more memory, and it has a lot of extra features. But I think we get more for our money with the Zelle. Yeah, the Zelle is a lot cheaper. Jay-Z and Zelle are both good brands, so I'm okay with either one. It's your call. Yes, I had a problem with one of your agents yesterday. She was terribly rude to me. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? First, she seemed to ignore me, even though I was standing right in front of her counter. I stood there for five minutes before she spoke to me. Then, when I told her my toaster didn't work and I wanted my money back, she said, Sorry, all sales are final and walked away. Oh dear, that is a problem. Rest assured that's not typical of our service. Now, if I could please get a little more information, I'll resolve this promptly for you. Hello, is Randy Johnson available? Mr. Johnson is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message for him? Yes, please. 
This is Charlie Cowles from Gecko Insurance. Could you please have him call me back as soon as he can? My number is 655-829-0657. Sure. And can I tell him what this is regarding? Oh my, look at all the people. And you said this would be a small party. You know how nervous I get when I have to meet a lot of people. Sorry, Walter, I had no idea. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll point out some of the people here, and that'll make it easier when you meet them. Yeah, that would help. Okay, let me see. All right, do you see the tall guy over there by the window? I see him. That's my brother, Harry. All right. And who's that next to him? Do you mean the woman in the red shirt? Yeah. That's my Aunt Judy. Oh, and do you see the man behind her? The one wearing glasses? No, he's kind of heavy set. Got him. That's my cousin Lyle. He's really funny. Okay. And is the woman wearing glasses your grandmother? Yeah, she's the one I'm named after. Her name's Anne, too. Okay. And where's your father? He's the man with the beard right over there. Do I call him Dr. Mills? No, just call him Kevin. Everyone does. I heard that Larry's going to be leaving the company next month. Really? Why? Where is he going? His wife got a job in Colorado. The whole family will be moving. Well, I'll miss him, but it sounds like a step up for him. We'll have to have a going away party. Yes, I'd like to make a reservation for three nights and four days, please, from the 21st through the 24th. All right. Single or double occupancy? And would you like a regular room or a suite? A regular double, please. And would it be possible to get one with an ocean view? I'm afraid all our regular double view rooms are booked for those dates. We do have one double view suite available. Those cost $50 a night more than regular rooms. King Card Customer Service, how can I help you today? Yes, my purse has been stolen. I need to cancel my credit card and get a new one. I'm sorry to hear that. Hold on a second. Okay, now. What is the name on the credit card, and what is the account number? It's Diana Schidler, S-H-I-D-L-E-R. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for running shoes. Running shoes, right over there in the sporting goods department. Great. I'm also looking for a skirt for my wife. Okay. Women's wear is on the third floor next to the children's wear department. You can take the escalator. And where's that? Right next to hardware. Hello? USP? I'm calling to check on a package I sent on the 7th. It still hasn't arrived, and today's the 13th. Can you tell me what happened to it? I'll certainly try, ma'am. Do you have the tracking number handy? Let's see. It's T714-2009-0001. Okay. I can see that did go out on the 7th. Hold on, please. I've got to check another computer and see where it's at. So, you seem to have a good position. Why did you leave? It was a good position, yes. But the truth is, I was getting a bit bored with it. I wanted a new challenge, a different opportunity. I wasn't going to get it there, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So, do you see this job as one that will fulfill those wishes? Yes, I really do. 
It's an exciting position in an innovative, well-respected firm. It's just what I'm looking for. You look like you're having some trouble there, Russell. You could say that. I can't even find the power button. Well, let's see. Did you plug it in? Yeah, I got that far at least. Okay, the power is right here on the side. Turn it on like this, and then, what's this? There's a disc in there. Oh, okay. Well, let's take out the disc, and we're ready to go. You have to use the mouse to open the window, don't you? Yep. Just move the cursor over here like this. Click on this icon, and there's your window. Have you heard from Mary lately? What's she up to these days? I got an email from her last week. After she left our firm, she switched careers. Now she's a teacher. Really? Good for her. I bet she'll be great at it. Yeah, she always was good with kids. Good morning, Skyline Real Estate. Uh, hello. My name is Marsha Wheeler. I saw your ad in the paper. How can I help you, Marsha? Well, I'm hoping you can help me find a place to live. Okay. First, I need to know whether you're looking for a house or an apartment. Oh, just an apartment. All right. And how many bedrooms do you need? Um, let me see. Two would be better. No, I think one is fine. Right. And are you looking for furnished or unfurnished? Well, I don't have very much furniture. We do have semi-furnished apartments. That means the apartment owner would supply some of the furniture, and you would supply the rest. That sounds good. Put me down for semi-furnished. Could you tell me what sort of furniture you'd need? Oh well, I have a bedroom set and a dining room table and chairs, so. Just the living room then. Right. What about location? Would you prefer to be close to the university or downtown? Um, the university, please. And can you make sure it's close to the subway? Does it matter if you're on a bus route? Not really. I only take the subway. The last thing is how much you're able to pay. Oh, for the rent? Yeah, I can pay up to about six hundred dollars a month. Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Do you know where Tanya is? I've been phoning her and sending emails for the past hour. She's not at her desk. She had to go to the downtown office to clear up a problem. Apparently, they sent us the wrong invoices. Well, I have some good news. We have a new advertising client, and I want Tanya to be in charge of their account. That's great news. You should call her on her cell phone. I'm sure she'd rather hear the news from you than read it in an email. What time do you get up in the morning? I get up at about seven o'clock. Then I take a shower. Do you have breakfast? Yes, I eat and read the paper, and then leave home at about eight fifteen. Maybe you could get up earlier and study English from seven to seven thirty. I like to sleep a little later than that, but I guess I could study. Barney Seafood, may I help you? I'd like to make a reservation for Saturday night, please. Sure. How many people? Eight. And at what time? Oh, say around seven. Okay. And your name is Lee, and、uh, it's a birthday party. So can I order a cake? You do have birthday cakes, don't you? Sure. What would you like written on it? Well, let's see.
Bob, did you contact technical support about my computer? I'm working on an important presentation, and all my work is on that computer. Yes, I called them. They told me they'd send someone over tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon? That will be too late. I'm meeting with my clients at 4 tomorrow to discuss ways to promote their company. Could you please call tech support again and ask them if they can come any sooner? Sure. I'll call them right away. I'll talk to a supervisor to make sure they get a technician over here today.